Hey crafty friend, it's Justine. Just to be super transparent, I just had to dig into this card kit early. It's September 7th today. I go back to school tomorrow with kiddos officially and I'm kind of nervous. So to <laughs> really cut down on my nerves, I figured let's dive into crafting because this has been my um, escape from reality, if you will. <laughs> It's interesting that the bag this year, or this month, is opening on the side, so I don't know if that's going to be a continued um, design, but who knows. This is the Feeling Festive October card kit of the month, and let's just unbox it. It looks Christmassy, so that's fun. Does anyone else <laughs> relate to that? Maybe when you were a kid, you got nervous before the first day of school yeah it's a thing for teachers too I'm 100% ready I have lesson plans for like the next month done um things printed materials prepped I I'm ready but I'm nervous I just want it to be like super awesome and fun and I want them to have such a good time I just I love my kindergartners and <laughs> it's just I'm nervous anyway to the card kit. Let's just dive in and forget about the rest of the world for just a teeny bit of time. Cute as a Santa Claus, by the way. <laughs> it's got a bunny. Okay, so just like a typical card kit, we have eight cards and envelopes, 20 A2 card panels, chipboard embellishments, acetate shapes. Ooh, that's kind of different. Puffy stickers, patterned paper, die cut shapes, sprinkle sequins. What? Are you kidding me? Those are so cool. Okay, we'll get into those in just a second. Foam squares and, of, and of course, adhesive tape. Okay, now I'm like nervous to do this. Ah, okay. So let's just dive in. Of course, we have the eight cards and envelopes. There are the linen finish from Spellbinders. They're a two size card, and in the center, they are super duper smooth for writing your loved ones all the messages that your heart desires the envelopes are the moistened to seal ones and they're nice and thick so that's that and then the card panels it looks like we have some Christmas colors probably to go with the theme if you don't know card kits typically have everything coordinated you can kind of see the colors match and everything just kind of goes so that's always really nice about the card kits I absolutely loved last month's with the fall theme. It just was fabulous. Okay, we have the red and the green and the light blue, light pink, and white. That will be fun to use, maybe for some die cutting in my future. I know the card kits don't come with die cuts anymore, but I do like the Spellbinders paper. It's just a little thicker than my typical white card stocks so I, I really do like this I'm gonna set this off to the side for now so we can get some other things looked at here I really want to look at these acetate shapes because they're kind of piquing my curiosity I've had acetate shapes from other companies before but not from spellbinders so what have we got here a tag a clear tag how fun okay I'll just kind of go through these. We have a mug with cocoa, a train, oh, a Santa train, Polar Express vibes, 25. I can't believe how shiny these are. I mean, I guess it's acetate. <laughs> Santa, who was on a diet, <laughs> skinny Santa. <laughs> a wreath, candy cane, some snowflake circles that have just fallen here, and lights, more snowflakes. Merry and bright. That's kind of a fun little sentiment. I love scripty handwriting style fonts, so that one's a good one. We have some foliage, a frame, another frame here. You light up. You light up every Christmas with your smile. Nice. Mountains. <laughs> you kind of look like um, the figgy pudding die from the Dancing Christmas Collection. And then these clear tags are really intriguing me. Do you put paper behind it? I will have to get creative with these. I'm not really sure. I haven't used these before from Spellbinders and I guess the only acetate I've worked with was these little embellishments. So I've not worked with like die cut 
acetate shapes. Quite interesting. And now let's just go back to these. These are so cute. Look at those little candy canes in there. And they're all kind of different thicknesses. Wow, this would be fun for a shaker card for sure. Or you can be fussy and pick out for embellishments, which I do all the time, so you can be fussy with me. And of course we have our double-sided adhesive tape and the foam squares that pop out for dimension. Love that. Here are the chipboard stickers. We have a very sweet little gingerbread house and an elf and skinny Santa again. <laughs> And again, I love this font. That font right there, I wish my handwriting looked like that. It's kind of close, but not really. After teaching cursive penmanship for a few years a while ago, I feel like my penmanship has just gone downhill ever since I stopped. Um, unless, I'm type, unless I'm writing things for my students, then I feel like my penmanship is like block perfect letters. I have to for kindergarten, you know? Gotta be the example. <laughs> Anyway, these are really fun. I typically don't use a whole lot of these on cards. I'll pull out these small stickers down here for gift tags, but these small sentiments I love. They are perfect. I don't have to stamp. I don't have to get my hands inky, which I guess I'm not really afraid of doing that, but if I can peel off a sentiment with dimension with these puffy stickers, let's do it. And I see some of that fun pet, that fun font again with these stickers. So that is neat. All right. Okay, let's go to the patterned paper next. If you know me, we're going to call it the pattern paper. <clears throat> this first one is super silly. Do you see Santa ice skating there? And there's Mrs. Claus. This is adorable. Ooh, green plaid. Beautiful. This is a poinsettia kind of Christmassy paper. Lovely. Some snowflake kind of looking shapes. Green polka dots. Ooh, I love this one. Anything ombre is super fun and trendy, so I like that. This is cute. Some polka dots again, but Christmas colors with pink. I love pink Christmas cards. <laughs> They're just really playful. This is beautiful, and there's some gold foiling on there. We have, what are these? Oh, they're bows, of course. Beautiful. Ooh, more gold foiling. Gorgeous. Some stars. Some stripes. These would be nice with the candy canes. And more stars, but different. Ooh. More foiling. <laughs> this is kind of fun. They kind of look like Christmas tree, Christmas lights. I think that's what they're supposed to be. Ooh, a bold word paper. This is adorable. These little elves in the stockings are so cute. Those are fun. Love this font again. Very cute. A little scene with these elves. If you look at this closely, there's an elf that's in a tree. That is me. I, I relate to that. <laughs> and then a really nice plaid. I am really drawn to these. I love saving paper like this and hoarding it, which is a no-no, but we all do it. Let's be real. But I like saving those plaid papers for some masculine cards and making some birthday cards that are masculine, but I think we're going to have to use them with Christmas here because this... It's a Christmas card kit after all. Okay, I'm going to go through the dies, die cut shapes, I guess. Um, I lay them out on bamboo trays. These, this one is from, this one is from Ikea. I left the sticker on so I can show you each time, but it's called the Ostbit. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but that's the best guess I got. <laughs> But I will lay these out and show them to you at the end. I probably will have to use two trays because there is quite a lot in here. And it's just looking super funny. This elf writing an ornament is already catching my eye. Same with these little peppermints. 
beautiful. All right, we'll see you in a minute. These die cut shapes definitely do not disappoint this month. I am very excited to work with it. There is definitely a lot more characters than usual, which is super fun. And I try to kind of put those together as best as I can. And if I didn't say it before, but I, I lay this out because it helps me to create and see everything. If it's just in a package, I don't see it. I'm not using it. So I need to see it and have it laid out. I am especially impressed with a few different pieces here. I am <laughs> over the moon about this one. I think it is super funny. Not only do we have an elf coming out of the chimney, there's one coming out of the window, dropping presents, a candy cane. You know how I feel about this little guy in the tree. All in all, I really do think that this is my favorite die cut piece, and I am certainly going to use both of these on cards. But I sort my pieces out by um, florals, which there's not a ton of florals this month, just a few shapes. Usually I put those all together. And then food, there's not a lot of food this month, but that's totally fine. And then characters and scene builders and then miscellaneous things. And that's kind of over here. And when I saw this little E is for elf, I laughed pretty hard at <laughs> to myself. And I, I think that is so funny. I don't know, maybe it's a kindergarten teacher in me but those letter cards are always like super funny to me and then i always put some of the little embellishments kind of up in a corner or down in a corner because i will typically just scoop all of these up and put them on my work surface when i'm going ahead and planning out cards i love these little <laughs> peppermints they are super cute some of them have foiling on them like this one and they just are perfect for adding little embellishments to cards so I can't wait to dive right into this card kit and start making. I definitely feel less stressed and anxious about tomorrow, so we'll see. But when you see it, it's October, and I'm sure I will have some funny stories from kindergarten by this point. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and check out my video that will be coming soon to my channel where I make different cards with these products so once again this is the card kit of the month for october 2023 called feeling festive happy crafting bye